Hi everyone, welcome to VLSA Academy. In previous video, we have understood about CMOS latch-up phenomena, but we did not discuss about fixing it. Today, we will understand about well tap cell, which is actually used as a remedy for this problem. So, without any delay, let us get started. As previously mentioned, that we have discussed about CMOS latch-up issue in the previous video. If you want to visit that video to understand that concept in detail, then the link of that video will be provided in the description below. Here, we will quickly try to give you a brief idea about that phenomena. Basically, CMOS latch-up occurs if your input or output, it will go above VDD or below VSS. Then at that time, there is a direct path that gets from, formed from your VDD to VSS. And because of parasitic elements, what happens is you will get that internal path resulting in a power ground shot. And now assuming that it was asked you to explain in the interview, you will have to explain this phenomena. But the next question that gets asked is how will we solve this problem? And in this video, we are going to discuss about how can we mitigate this problem? Well, we have seen that also in previous video that this is your PNP that gets formed because of parasitic elements. And this N plus, it is also connected to the emitters by via some resistance that we modeled. So we did really did not discuss about what is the role of this well resistance and this P plus also is actually connected via a resistance to this base of NPN transistor. So this was your NPN transistor which we were modeling and this was the base. This was the emitter which is connected to N regions of this, uh, this uh, PMOS, this NMOS and uh, this is your PMOS here and what happens is this is called as substrate resistance and this also we did not discuss that what is the role of these two resistances and why we have uh, this diffusion layer here. We have seen that in previous video that we make the terminal connection to VDD through this terminal and we make the terminal connection to the ground through this terminal. So, but we never discussed about substrate resistance and the well resistance. These resistances are actually very high in the value and that is why current does not flow through this path. And instead of that, what happens is when you tap, it will actually to flow through this, uh, it will actually flow through the emitter terminal and it will go via this path because this resistance is usually high. But here is the catch that when we tap it to the ground, let's say, or we tap this to the VDD, at that time, if your voltage goes above VDD and current starts to flow through ground and if the substrate resistance is less, then it will follow this path instead of following this path. It will not follow this path because now resistance which is in parallel is actually lesser and current will try to take this path instead of that path. And that is basic physics. So that is why we, this is the importance of tapping and that is why the name well tap. So in earlier days, the tapping was inside the standard cell itself. And we used to mitigate this problem by tapping like this only. But as the technology advanced and need for greater area came up, at that time, this uh, was actually taking additional area. And that is why this tapping was removed from the uh, standard cell. And we did not do it like this. Instead, it was made shorter and a separate tap cell was introduced after certain distance. So if we remove that tapping, it will become something like this. And as you can see that this area of ad additional tapping area we have removed. And that is why now the standard cell area became smaller. And that was the need in the advanced technologies. And that is why separate tap cell needs to be created and the tapping was not having inside the standard cell. This is a tap cell layout. In advanced tech nodes, tapless standard cells are designed and after a certain distance, it is put up to avoid the CMOS latch up. Not every standard cell will be going to run into CMOS latch up issue and hence, based on the guidelines of foundry, it is inserted in periodically in the rows. In this layout, you can see that it has nothing but the tapping inside it present for power and ground. That is all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.